and then they move on. Uh, because of the kindness of our board and because of all the work that they've done on our behalf, we now have eight summer institutes that we offer to Golden Apple, and we thank you for that. If you read the news, there are two things that I want to point out. One was this uh, cover of a Time magazine that said, the 100 most influential people in the world. But I have to tell you, they got it wrong. It's actually 175, and they're seated here in these beginning rows. You have to realize, every single one of you, that there was a moment that I call an epiphany where someone, a group of people read your essays, another group of people interviewed you, and between that combination of the reading and the interviews, it was that moment that said, you are exactly who we need. You are who we want. Now, the news magazine may have got it wrong, but if any of you were watching television last night, ABC News reported on something I thought was remarkable. And our General Assembly, the Illinois government, just voted, and they voted unanimously to do something very special, the Cicero Avenue. And if you heard about it, they have renamed the street. It is now going to be Nelson Mandela Avenue. And the person who did it, let me read you what he said, the House and Senate on Friday, yesterday, unanimously approved the renaming of Cicero Avenue in Chicago to commemorate, in the resolution stated by Senator uh, LaShawn Ford, Democrat of Chicago, to change the name of Cicero Avenue to Nelson Mandela Road, beginning at West Roosevelt Road. It's an honor for me to carry such a resolution to dedicate this Illinois street to Mandela, who is about freedom, fairness, opportunity, and equity in education. And that's really what we are all about, the Golden Apple Scholars Program. As a matter of fact, it's really doubly ironic. First, we put out a brochure, and that was placed out. It's called Inspire, Lead, Be the Change. And look what happens when you open the brochure. The very first quote is by Nelson Mandela, by our former president of South Africa. And it says, Education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world, Nelson Mandela. And that's exactly, those words that he used in South Africa when he became president are exactly the words that we want to use to you to say, that is going to be your mission, to go into a school of need and be the best teacher for the children who need you the absolute most. Paige Johnson, who works for Intel, had some remarkable statistics that I want to share with you. And she said that of 100 children who began high school this past year, only 69 are going to graduate. Only 40 are going to go to college. 27 will be in college two years after they start. 18 will be all that are graduating in four years. And so I look at it as our mission to change that. You will be the teachers that inspire the children to make sure those statistics improve year after year as you enter the classroom. Carolyn Syriac has titled the Summer Institute, she's given this name to it, Carrying the Torch, Igniting the Passion. And that's exactly what I think our numbers have shown over the years since 1989 that the program has begun. There are now, because of you, 175 today, 1,650 scholars in the program. Amazing. <laughs> Equally amazing, 56% of you come from underrepresented groups. 26% Latino, 21% African American, 5% Asian Pacific Islander, and four multiracial. 83% so far have completed college, although those statistics are actually rising. 61% of your class are first generation. 39% of you come from low-income families. If we look back, almost 600 have already completed the mission to do what Nelson Mandela wanted, to advocate for education. And they have completed their five-year mission, just like Terry today and Lewis are bell ringers. 665,000 children have been taught by Golden Apple Scholars, and that number continues to increase, a pretty amazing statistic. 
The first person that I'm going to introduce represents the Board of Education. And let me tell you, the board is really the inspiration for everything that we do in Golden Apple. The mission statement for Golden Apple says that we transform both teachers and teaching. And that's exactly what our board continually dedicates us to that mission. And this man has served on the board. He is a visionary. He's a leader. He is the friendliest person you could ever meet. He is a tireless advocate. He supports scholars every year financially. He is just one incredible man. His name is Bob Newman. Bob's going to welcome us.